Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we are going to solve some more questions under the topic of coordinate points in line. And in this the, the given question, we have to check whether the given coordinates satisfy the given equation of the line or curve. Now, in the first question, we have coordinate given as 3 minus 4 and equation as x square plus y square is equal to 25. Now here as we know that x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is minus 4. Now simply putting the value of x and y into the equation we have 3 square plus minus 4 square is equals to 25. Now 3 multiplied by 3 is equals to 9. Similarly minus 4 into minus 4 is positive 16 as minus minus is equals to plus. So here we have 25 is equals to 25 which means that the given point satisfy the equation of the given line. Here we have another question in which the coordinates are given as 3 minus 2. So here x is equals to 3 and y coordinate is equals to minus 2. And the given equation is y is equals to 3x minus 7. We have to test whether these points lie on the equation of the given line or not. First we put the values as y is equal to minus 2, x is equal to 3, minus 7, minus 2 is equal to 9, minus 7. Here minus 2 is not equal to 2. So we know that these points are not satisfying this equation. So, this point doesn't line on the given line. Here we have another question in which the coordinates are given as x is equals to 1. And the y coordinate is 1 whole number 1 over 2 which is now equal to 3 over 2. We have to check either these points satisfy the given equation or not. Which means that they either lie on the given line or not. So we put these values on the given equation which is y is equal to x plus 2 over 3x minus 1. Here y is equal to 3 over 2. x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3 1 minus 1. Now we have 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and here we have 3 minus 1. So the final answer is 3 over 2 is equal to 3 over 2 which means that the given point satisfy the given equation or the given coordinates lie on the given line. Now look at another question in which the coordinates are given as 5p which is x coordinate and 5 over p which is y coordinate. Now we have to put these values in the given equation which is y is equal to 5 over x. Here y is equal to 5 over p and x is equal to 5p. Now, after further solving, we will have 5 over p is equal to 1 over p. Now, these two are not equal to each other, which means that the given point doesn't satisfy the given equation or the points doesn't lie on the given line. Now, look at another question in which x coordinate is given as p and y coordinate is given as p minus 1 whole square plus 1. We have to put these values under in the given equation which is y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 2. We know the value of y is equal to p minus 1 whole square plus 1 is equal to value of x is p so it becomes p square minus 2 p plus 2. As we know that we have a formula a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. 
here A is P and B is 1. Putting these into the formula, we have P squared minus 2P plus 1. We have just opened this bracket with the help of the formula. As A is equals to P, so it becomes P squared minus 2. A is P. B is 1. So it becomes minus 2P plus B is 1. So 1 is squared is equals to 1. So here we have just opened this bracket with the help of the formula. Plus 1 is from the given value is equals to P square minus 2P plus 2. Now further solving we will have P square minus 2P plus 2 is equals to P square minus 2P plus 2. Now these points are equal, satisfying the equation and make it equal to each other. So we say that these points lie on the given line. Here we have another question in which we have to find the equation of the straight line with the help of the given coordinates and gradient. As we know from the formula of the gradient that equation of line is y minus y intercept is equal to m which is gradient bracket x minus x intercept. So here in the first question we have coordinates 1 minus 2 x intercept and y intercept are given as 1 and minus 2 and gradient is minus 3. Now we start solving. We have equation y minus c is equal to m x minus x intercept. Here we have y intercept as minus 2. This minus is from the formula and this minus 2 comes out as a value of y intercept. Gradient is minus 3 x minus 1 which is x intercept here we have y plus 2 is equals to minus 3x minus minus plus 3 so here we have equation y is equals to minus 3x plus 3 minus 2 which is equals to y is equals to minus 3x plus 1. This is our equation. Here we are given another set of coordinates which is minus 5, minus 1 and the gradient is minus 3 over 4. We have equation over line as y minus c is equal to m x minus o. Now here y intercept is minus 1. Gradient is minus 3 over 4. x intercept is minus 5. Further solving we will have y plus 1 is equals to minus 3 x over 4. Again minus 15 over 4. As this is minus minus become plus x plus 5. So minus x 3x and minus 15 over 4. As we don't have an answer in the form of a fraction, so we take the LCM over here, which comes out as, and take, uh, we will have 5 plus 1 on the left hand side. Now we will take this 4 over here, so it becomes 4y plus 4 is equal to minus 3x minus 15. As is 4, this 4 is going to multiply with the y plus 1. So it becomes 4y plus 4. So we have 4y is equal to minus 3x minus 15 minus 4 of 4y is equal to minus 3x minus 19. This is our equation. Here we have another question in which the coordinates are given as 0, minus 4 and gradient is 7. We know the equation of a line which is given as y minus y intercept is equal to gradient x minus x intercept. Here we have minus 4 as y intercept, gradient is 7 and x intercept is 0. 
So we have a y plus 4 is equals to 7x minus 7 into 0 is equals to 0. So we have y is equals to 7x minus 4. This is our equation of the given coordinates and gradient. Now we have another question here in which the coordinates are given as 3, 8 and gradient as 0. So we put these values into the given equation of the line and we will have y minus a pi intercept which is 8, gradient is 0, x minus x intercept. Now this 0 multiply with this bracket and it becomes 0 so y is equals to 8. Now here we have some interesting information that whenever you have a gradient 0, so you don't have an x-intercept <coughs> or you can say that this line is parallel to x-axis. Here we have another question in which the coordinates are given as 0 and c and gradient is 3. Now putting these values in the given equation of line, we will have y minus c is equals to 3 x minus 0. So we have y minus c is equals to 3x or y is equals to 3x plus c. Now this is in the format of y is equals to mx plus c. From this question we have an information that this line is parallel to y axis as it is in the same format of y is equals to mx plus c and here the x coordinate is 0. Here we have another question in which the coordinates are given as 3, 0 and the gradient is minus 3 over 5. We have an equation y minus y intercept is equal to gradient into x into minus x intercept. Here y intercept is 0, gradient is minus 3 over 5, x intercept is 3. So we have y is equal to minus 3x over 5 minus minus plus. 3, 3 is a 9 over 5. Now taking LCM, we will have minus 3x plus 9. Now this 5 is in the denominator here. It goes into the other side and multiply with the y. So it becomes 5y is equal to minus 3x plus 9. 